Who'd want to be a government, government minister in a time like this? All around there are reporters saying, why haven't you done this or why haven't you done that? Why have you allowed this to happen? And pretty much everyone you meet saying, why hasn't the government done something more for me? Listen to these words from the book of Numbers. Numbers chapter 20. In the first month, the whole Israelite community arrived at the desert of Zin, and they stayed at Kadesh. There Miriam died and was buried. There was no water for the community, and the people gathered in opposition to Moses and Aaron. They quarrelled with Moses and said, If only we died when our brothers fell dead before the Lord. Why did you bring the Lord's community into this desert, that we and our livestock should die here? Why did you bring us up out of Egypt into this terrible place? It has no grain or figs, grapevines or pomegranates, and there's no water to drink. Moses and Aaron went from the assembly to the entrance of the tent of meeting and fell face down, and the glory of the Lord appeared to them. The Lord said to Moses, Take the staff, and you and your brother Aaron gather the assembly together, speak to that rock before their eyes, and it will pour out its water. You will bring water out of the rock for the community, so that they and their livestock can drink. So Moses took the staff from the Lord's presence, just as he commanded him. He and Aaron gathered the assembly together in front of the rock, and Moses said to them, Listen, you rebels, must we bring you water out of this rock? Then Moses raised his arm and struck the rock twice with his staff. Water gushed out, and the community and their livestock drank. But the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Because you did not trust me enough to honour me as holy in the sight of the Israelites, you will not bring this community into the land I gave them. It's unenviable to be a leader, and it's not always straightforward to be someone who's led. I wonder whether you have experienced people grumbling against leaders in a church that you've been a part of, and whether you've added your name and number to the gump grumblers. And as a leader, I wonder whether you've experienced grumbling people. There are several leaders lessons that we could learn from this passage and I just want to pick out two or three of them. First is the grumbling people. As we read through the story of the Exodus we find that grumble after grumble comes out of their mouths and they make Moses and Aaron's life a misery as they're always grumbling against God. And the result of all their rebellion against God and their unwillingness to follow the vision and to follow Moses and Aaron's leadership is that none of the people who came out of Egypt eventually were allowed to enter into the promised land with just two exceptions, Joshua and Caleb. And it can be a reminder to us about God's disapproval of people who grumble. I hope that we can learn that lesson and learn to be humble before God and to appreciate and to support our leaders. And then there's Moses and Aaron. <coughs> they hear the grumbling and they do the right thing. They go to God and lay down prostrate before him <coughs> and bring the problem to him. And I trust if you're a leader, then that's an example that you are prepared to follow. That as you face intractable problems, you're prepared to lay them out before the Lord. And Moses and Aaron... <coughs> 
had their answer from God and were told to go and strike the rock and that water would flow. And they did just that. <coughs> but unfortunately, as they did it, they lost patience. And they said, Listen, you rebels, must we bring you water out of this rock? And they failed in their real first duty of leadership. And that was to God, give God the credit for what he was doing. Must we provide you with water from this rock? And as a result, Moses and Aaron were told that they would lead the people only as far as the outskirts of the promised land and wouldn't enter it themselves. Moses, as a great giant of the Old Testament and indeed of the New, but he was human and fallible and at this point of importance he failed before God and failed to achieve all the promise that God had for him. I hope we can learn, learn about leadership, learn about being followers of leaders, learn to be humble before God, that we may find all the blessing that he has for us. Have a great day.